He points out the unusual features commonly associated with the mythical beast known as the chupacabra. The front legs seem to be a little bit longer than a typical coyote. It's very irregular. I've never seen one that had legs that long. There are all sorts of wild animals that are roaming the woods here in South Texas that are actually native to this part of the state. And then there are those animals that you just don't know. I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it a chupacabra too. The chupacabra or not, one thing's for sure, is definitely stirring up interest with those who stop by. As a taxidermist, Ayer says he plans to preserve the animal so people can see it for themselves. And he's hoping that a local museum will take it for display. It's uh, definitely something that I don't want to throw away. I think it'll make it a very interesting mound, you know, a tremendous conversation piece. In Blanco County,